first pair of shoes growing up was a pair of loafers. And I, it was special to me because I, I had put nickels or pennies in, the, in them. And it was a pair of shoes that I was given to me by my father. And I took care of those shoes because I, then when I wasn't wearing them, I was cleaning them, shining them. And they were very dear to me because uh, they carried me to church and from church uh, back home and to school, all through uh, my school days, I wore the, not that pair, but shoes similar to them. And, and shoes, I, after I rode up and going to work, those shoes I carried me to work. And I, then from job to job, I wore shoes. I, I worked I, on jobs that I didn't really like, but I still wore shoes. And then I was I, from uh, Fredericksburg uh, to I, North Carolina, I wore shoes. And I worked all around in North Carolina. There was a lot of places there that I wore shoes. And then from North Carolina, uh, back into uh, uh, Richmond, then back uh, in North Carolina again to High Point. And from High Point, uh, North Carolina to Wallace, North Carolina. And then back uh, all around where I worked. Uh, I worked in a couple of shoe factories. Work, I represented a couple of shoe factories. Uh, one was in I, I, Lawnsville. One was in Blackstone, one was in Lynchburg, and one was uh, in Dillwyn. And they made all kind of shoes. And, but then I, uh, the shoes carried me I, uh, to I, Harrisonburg. I worked in a plant there, at least I represented a plant there, American Company, and I, a pharmaceutical plant. And my shoes uh, carried me from there, uh, sometime to High Point, uh, to Georgia, uh, back into uh, uh, New Jersey. And those shoes brought me back uh, uh, to, uh, to Richmond. And uh, from Richmond uh, to uh, Williamsburg, all of those places were job-related places. And, I even went as far as a Canada. Those shoes carried me to Canada, and from my Canada uh, to I, I, Alabama, wearing, this, wearing shoes. And it hadn't been for shoes, I couldn't have made the trips that I did. And the shoes carried me I, from the starting of, I, of my work. I worked. I, uh, for FMC plant, I was a janitor. The shoes carried me all around uh, uh, the plant, all around the departments. Then I moved from a janitor to a uh, operator, and they carried me all around uh, operating machines. And finally, I worked with the union, and I was a steward. And from going from shift to shift, they are still a, I had those shoes and they played a big part because I did a whole lot of walking with good shoes. And I, from there, I, I, I moved from a, the a, a steward to the a vice president of the union. And then from the vice president of the union, I became the first uh, black eye president of Local 713. And after, after that, I, I still was wearing shoes, 
I was hired as an international representative uh, from my main office in New York. And then I, the shoes still were, uh, was carrying me around. And I went from there to a, 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 to a, a place that you, uh, Roanoke Rapids, North Carolina, where I helped to organize uh, one of the biggest, uh, the second largest textile plant, J.P. Stevens. And I, I stayed there about five years from around in, in the Roanoke Rabbits and back home and, and uh, all around. Good shoes kept me going. It played a big part. Uh, when you got uh, shoes and good shoes and shoes that you like, uh, you feel a lot better in, uh, in working. So then it's not only that, the shoes brought me back home when I needed to come and I traveled up and down the uh, 95 and I had children going to college uh, in Petersburg and Richmond and the shoes uh, was still a big part of my life. I would like to be like my father. My father I, I was a man that always worked. He took care of his family and he brought us up I, loving one another in church. And he always I remind us that we should go to school. And I, and in doing that, he work hard and he uh, and the things that he uh, was involved in and the way that he uh, taught us if I could be the man that my father was I would be a great man so uh, I often think of the things that he told me a lot of times I didn't I uh, agree but now after thinking about what happened and what's happening now Everything that he told me was right. But I, uh, he didn't, he, he didn't, I, I, I really force us to do things, but he would tell us and, and then he would tell us why we should uh, do them. But I, uh, he was a man that he loved the Lord and uh, he was a trustee. And I, I loved the Lord, and I, I, I was once a trustee, and then I went from a trustee to a digging, and we always I uh, the Sunday school prayer meeting, and I, and I, working around the house in the garden and everything. He always had something to say, and he always had an answer when I had an answer. So I, my father was a great man and he didn't, I, I, I sent us to church. He carried us to church and he made sure that we had good shoes when we went out I, and during the winter time, I, he, he just was a good father. And I, he, I, Always I uh, would tell us things that I uh, we should do. And he told us about uh, his family, uh, his father, and I uh, invited uh, his father's father, my grandfather, and I never I never met uh, uh, my father's father because he, he passed before, uh, maybe before I was born. But 
He was my favorite person. smaller. I used to uh, put his shoes on, but it was big, big, and, but I would walk through the house and I, and he would, I, would I uh, tell me I, I, not to wear his shoes out in the dirt or to, I would, I, sometimes he would tell me to put his shoes down, but they didn't make any difference. I, sometimes I would go back again and, and try his shoes on. And then I used to shine his shoes for him, and I, he would I would like that, and it just was a pleasant time, uh, a pleasant thing, to uh, be around my father, and to uh, mess with his shoes. Yes, yeah, sometimes you can tell a person by their shoes because I you, you find that people is particular with their shoes. Most people is. And some I would wear the shoes shine all the time and some people just didn't care about their shoes. They would wear them uh, any kind of way, they'd have them open and I would walk back on the heel of it. But I would know uh, whose shoe it is because I've seen the person uh, wear them. But uh, you can tell a person by their shoes. I, uh, because some people, it's particular with the shoes. They would keep them shining all the time. And then some people, you know, they didn't care about the shoes. They would be a dull looking, a run over, and all other kind of ways. But uh, you could tell a person by the shoes that uh, if you would see the shoes and, and you would say that is thy uh, John's shoes or then you could see another pair of shoes that uh, would match Richard and uh, you said those are Richard's shoes and most of the time you would be right. Directions that I'm looking uh, to move in now is to uh, I is to is to I uh, watch my grandchildren grow up and I to I to do things that I that is pleasing I uh, and to I uh, to make preparations I uh, I uh, for retirement. I, uh, before I retired, and I, after I, but since I retired, the plans I'm making now is uh, this time of the year, I, I make plans uh, 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 by the seasons. In spring of the year, I make plans to, uh, to do things outside, and I, and I, then I, uh, I to see what I need uh, to do to carry me over through the spring. And then I, by the summer, I, I make plans uh, to maybe take a vacation and to, to visit my, my children or to uh, go out and I and carry my, my uh, family out and I, to be around my family, but I, Plans is uh, something that's important because I, in making plans, I, and you do make the right kind of plans, uh, you can have uh, everything in line. But sometimes you don't make plans to do things. Things will come I, uh, at you all different ways.
anybody was to slip into my shoes, they would experience happiness, they would experience love for people, love for the world, and they would, I, they would always I, I experience going to church, and they would experience helping the uh, ones that uh, was, wasn't fortunate to have. Uh, they would experience uh, going into the hospital visiting. They would experience uh, going to all kind of meetings, uh, civic meetings. Uh, I, they would experience uh, the Boy Scouts, once I was a, a scout leader. And they would experience uh, going into the schools, helping with the programs. And they would even experience, uh, I, once I was a secretary of the I, uh, of the I, uh, of, of the of the of certain leagues, uh, they would experience being in lodges like Masonics or like the Elks, or, or like the I, uh, I, uh, Swanners, or like all kind of clubs, uh, religious clubs. So it's a lot of things they would experience by stepping into my shoes. But one of the biggest things they would experience of a person that loved the Lord and a person that's kind to people and a person that well, always liked to help those that needed help. Uh, uh, four. Uh, three girls went four. I, yes, I, I, when my girls was up, uh, was young, I, uh, they would, I always said, Daddy, come on, let me show you how to do this step. Uh, come on, Daddy, I, this is a new step that just came out. And we used to play around, and I, I, I not only dancing, but I, all other uh, things, uh, we used to play like baseball and basketball, but I, they like to dance. They would uh, uh, see a new step at school or, uh, or hear a new step uh, on the television. They would uh, always, come on, Daddy. Sometimes I didn't want to do it, but then sometimes I would just go on and I, uh, to make them happy. I would like to be remembered I, as a person that tried to do the right thing, a person that I, loved the Lord, a person that I, I loved to help people, and a person that I would go out of his way I, sometime to make friends, and a person that would I always give advice to those who wanted advice about uh, uh, how a Christian family should be and how I, my family was. The person that would talk about history and the person that would I, 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 I always I tell someone I, how life was and how life should be and I, always something that's I, inspiring I, to move the community or to even to move the world. Uh, uh.